As you may know, Prime UI libraries use their own icon set called Prime Icons that features over 200 free to use and open source icons. In some cases though, you may need to use your own icon set in your project or you would like to switch the Prime icons with another off-the-shelf library such as the Material icons in case you are using the Material theme. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uh, change the Prime icons used in Prime uh, UI library. I'll be using Prime ING uh, with another library such as the Material icons. We'll be using the drop-down. You know, the drop-down has a Chevron down icon for to show you that that's a drop down list so we'll be we will be overriding that with a material icon so let's move on to the tutorial okay to figure this out um, I, I have visited the material icons guide so these are the nice set of material icons the first step is installing that so I'm not going to go through that for the sake of simplicity of this uh, tutorial I will just grab the CDN link but I think the best way is self-hosting. So I would suggest downloading the assets and include them to your Angular CLI application or uh, your, your application, whether what uh, technology you're using. So here, I'm sorry. I have the index HTML. Again, we can call it somewhere here. So our, our page now has the metal icons, but as I mentioned, I would suggest the self-hosting method. Okay, now go. Let's go to some SCSS file like styles or app somewhere. Um, these, this is the Prime ING showcase. But I think anywhere in this, you know, in your application would work. Here is the metal icon CSS declaration here. So I'll just create a mixin called use MD icon, and I will just get the icon name here. The next step is copying this part. And then let's see the icon set. They are using codes and texts. So for example, the face is here. I will just going to use at before content icon since Prime NG uses font icons. We need to overwrite the content. And let's override it. You may see this information from the documentation. The which icons to overwrite, or you can just check out if uh, you're lazy like me. I will just get this class instead of the documentation drop down trigger icon and here use MD icon face okay now I'm using the face for chevrons which is kind of weird but it works so for the icons that you like to write of course you you can use uh, the the metal icons just like here I mean it will just work like this but the idea is that how to use this to write the Chevron icon so if I just remove this one it will just revert back to the default one and if you I mean you may search these icons material design icons somewhere coloring icons for the web uh, you know there's there there should be a search page somewhere I think I found it let's say down we may choose arrow down copy this text move it to here and you will just use that icon instead so for the icons that uh, I think the, the Prime UI library approximately uses around uh, 50 icons, built-in icons, for example, the calendar icon here, the checkbox icon here, uh, which they can all be overridden. I would not suggest overriding all the Prime icons so that you may uh, choose, uh, you may, you know, because you can have two icon sets. They're not really different. 
the one uh, improvement here, I think, is that this CSS will, you know, I mean, will be duplicated for if you're going to overwrite 10 components, you will have the CSS 10 times. So one shortcut, I think, might be the icons inside the components. So we are using P component for every prime component has this P component. And let's see that I've never tried it, just, just maybe here like this, P component inside PI uses this one. Okay, it worked. So that this, instead of duplicating the CSS, because that's a mix-in, um, the shortcut is that the component, the icons inside the components should be material by default. And this mixing should just change the content. So let's see. Oh, it works. So uh, this technique can apply to your own custom uh, icons, not just material. You just need to find out how that icon set is defined using their documentation and just uh, overwrite the PI with uh, CSS. Okay, um, that's it for this one. Hopefully you like it and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.